back to like the violence and stuff. Like, like every day I think like, I'm like, I wonder how I'm gonna go out. Cause like my friends, like, I lost three friends. Like, and like it wasn't no chance, no second chance. Like they, 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 that was it. Oh man, yeah, man. Living on uh, West Shore of uh, uh, Charlotte, um, man, and Arbor Glen. Yeah, it used to be like crazy, like to the point where we'd be hanging with the older guys or the guys, you know, they'd be doing like little criminal activities, but it was just bad because how are you prepared for something to go down? Like, for instance, like, hi, go, bro. Like, what like, happened? Like, we'll be on, like, we'll be on the block. Every day, we we know like something happen. Like we'll be knowing that somebody come to shoot or something. But we'll still be out there. Like I don't even know why. It's just because like that, that was a spot. Like but, like like cars be run by a certain way too fast. Everybody get the duck. Man, it was crazy though. Man, it got so bad at some point. Like you know, it'll be your homeboys playing. Yeah, you know, pull up and they cross stop at the top of the street. He cut the lights off. And man, they be coming down, so everybody be behind the bushes, you know, and the ones who had, you know, as y'all say, arms or whatever, they'd be clutching it. And your boy be shot out the window, hey, bro, hey, y'all had y'all scared. Everybody be on 10 talking about, hey, man, don't be playing like that. But that's just bad that the mentality we had, like, we was ready for that. Like, that was like our adrenaline rush, our drug, man. It yeah. was crazy out there, man. Every day, it was something, like... You just we seen fights every day. Yeah, like, you should. Just, and everybody clutching guns. So I guess you know, from a certain point of okay, let let's let me give an example of a reference to it. Say for instance, like a drug. You know, the first thing that comes to you when you take a drug is fear and curiosity. So once you get over that part, it becomes an addiction. You get a, you get adapted to it. So that's how kind of how it was. Like man. Bumpy, you know what's about to happen anyway, so hey, we might as well make fun out with it, man. You know, it wasn't really too much for us to do in the hood. You know, the rec center always closed, something always closed down. And you know, we was kind of too young, you know, the parties of that element. So that was like the fun for us. And it's bad that, you know, bullets flying over your head. It's fun for you that, you know, that can be your last day, but you taking it as a joke. Yeah, man. And like, like he, could, he could tell you like, I run, I run home every day. Hey, so and so just fuck. Had a story every day. I'm talking about instead of me being a brother, man. Why you around that? Why you out there, man? That could have went ugly. I'm the one. Dang, man, I missed it. Like me being a great dude, I was just like a fly on the wall. Like I saw, I captured it. I see everything. I seen. Hey, so how you think uh, like adults view y'all? Do y'all feel as though like adults have an understanding of what y'all go through, how you feel? Do you think they listen think, to y'all? Nah, I don't really feel like the adults like understand like, cause it's it's, it's different now like from back then when. Well, hold on, hold really on, bro. If we're talking about us as individuals, if um that's different. But as far as like us now together as the urban youth, as my brother was saying, yeah, it's kind of we kind of all in the same boat, you know, cause it, it's like you ever know like like how kind of reference to you if um. You miss this free throw, you mess up, the team mess up, like in basketball. So, you know, we all get the consequences of one person's actions. They all tied together. Y'all all the same color. So why not put y'all all in the same boat? I mean, that's how I just, pretty much how it goes. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, my bad, you cut y'all for go ahead and say. <laughs> but yeah. Dude, well, let me ask you this then, dude. Do y'all, I know you do, but do you think a lot of people that grew up around like friends, like seeing people die all the time, seeing fights and violence, do you think people even dream anymore? Like dream, like have dream, like yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. No. You know what I mean? Or you just like yo, no, I'm just all here to survive. No, they give me day. Cause I mean, at young ages, they catching gun charges, and I'm talking about big charges that they ain't gonna do nothing. Be able to but working nine to five for the rest of their life. And um. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, to a certain aspect, it's kind of like our friends kind of live through us. You know, they reach out sometimes and um, they see what we're doing, they see everything being positive. So it'd be more like, hey man, I see you doing it big or I see you doing something, I see you growing. So it's kind of like, man, do it for all of us. So it's kind of like passing down the torch. Cause you know, I had the opportunity and I messed mine up, but I don't want you to. Mm -hmm. So at least if, most of us didn't make at least one of us did so it's kind of like that and that's kind of a sad thing to say but i mean even though like, like we were talking about earlier you know even though 
you live a life of crime or you made some mistakes in life, it's still a chance out there to do it. Honestly, it's not more of a, a corporate chance, but honestly, it's time for you to be more of your own solo, individual chance. Now, you know, like, you can't get into it, like I said, employment, but you can be your own employment. Yeah. You just gotta make something out of nothing, pretty much. You know? Do, do you feel as though growing up, like, the influence is like, all right, so for example, when I was growing up, it wasn't bad. It, it, it wasn't like a bad thing if you were smart, made good grades and yeah. stuff. So then when I started working the school system, I started seeing kids like clowning somebody who was smart. Did y'all experience that coming up? Oh, yeah, man. I just, I, I just feel like, I think that's because of like the rap and the rappers. Like these people, the rappers really influence like young kids for real. Like they, they make them do something that they don't even, that's not that, like, that's not in them. Like they do stuff that's. Well, let me, well, all right, all right, speaking of that then, right? So I understand, I realize kids are influenced by rap like heavy, right? And I always question like, yo, why are they so influenced by rappers and do what rappers do? All right, so for me, or what rappers say, not necessarily what they do, because yeah. a lot of rappers ain't doing right. what they're saying, Perfect. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But I realized with me, I'm like, man, what kind of what kind of changed me up? And I look back, like, yo, I had a dad. I had a dad. You know what I'm saying? Like, my pops was around, and like, it would go down if I'm violating. Even though I got out of hand, I knew to straighten up when pops came around. Yeah. We were just talking about y'all pops. Was that was he a, like an integral influence to kind of kept y'all straight away? Yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely. very, very. Definitely. I mean, that man. Listen, I mean, it was like. <laughs> I know you're going to see this, but man, my pops was like a drill sergeant. Like, pretty much, I mean, my mother, and she's working, she's, in, you know, not saying she's not in, in our lives or whatever, she's there, but, you know, it's that dominance, that I'm the testosterone to have somebody come in and pretty much lay the law down. Like, I'm the man in the house. And, you know, at first, being this young man, not having a, a father in the home for a while, you take that as a challenge. But after a while, if somebody keep pounding and pounding and pounding, you know, you kind of submit to that. So, and it was kind of, it's kind of cool to honestly have a pops to come into your life and let you know, man, look, it's all right to be the smart guy. It's all right to not throw hands and talk it out and honestly be a man, because honestly, it saves you, you know, a lot of damage, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally. Like, I mean, you just thinking to yourself, like, do I got to prove myself? Do, I mean, this man just tried me or he just said a couple words to me I didn't like. And my boy said, I got to handle it. So do I have to handle it? So it's, it's more peer pressure, like, man. So honestly, I think a father being in the home give you that mental stability and structure to pretty honestly have a conscience and be like, man, I ain't got to do this for nobody. If me, I don't want to deal with it, I don't have to. Thinking about my pops, like, that, that stopped me from doing a lot of stuff. Like, hey, like you know, thinking of the consequences of him. Back of your head. I don't like, really think about consequences with the law or... Nobody else. I'm thinking about what he gonna say, what he gonna do. When you get home, you know. Hey, man. And it, I mean, and then it goes back to like parenting too, how it all plays back in the home, man. Real talk, I, I ain't really never had a whooping, but it's been consequences. For instance, you love something, you know, I was a game. I love the game. My pops, hey, man, mess up. Man, that game might be gone, man. You come home, hey, your controller go, TV go. Hey, man, it's for real, man. Honestly, it's kind of like in a mindset of like a prison, man. You ain't got nothing to do, no free will. You sitting in there isolated, have to, you have to think and conjure on what you did. You would never do it again. I promise you, when you get your freedom taken away, that's the worst thing that can ever happen. That's the worst thing I ever got. You know everybody joking around. You know your boys are not going to do Can Amy Young come out? Look, your pops, hey, man, y'all already know he on punishment. You looking out the window like, hey, I'll see y'all in three days. I, I have love, like, hey, man. Like, like, then where we from, like, you gotta be like, it's like one foot in, one foot out, like, cause you gonna, you gonna be in, a, in something, but we, we always had goals, so we, we always said that. <laughs> we gonna test the water, you gonna yeah. put your pinky toe in, you ain't gonna get all the way in the water, you gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna dip a couple toe in, I'm gonna put my feet in the water. Like, we, we done, we seen some, like, it's crazy man. stuff, like, we done seen friends that crossing each other over guns. guns. Women too. They robbing each other. They Women, man. Each other stuff. Man, I'm talking about best friends who grew up together, man. Everybody say they down for you until you in that office and they interrogate you. Yeah, you see that name on the statement. And I heard plenty, man. You, you know, see, you see the hardest anybody. dudes tell on their they best dude. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, the best friends just turning on each other. I, I don't know, man. 
this, I mean, this is my brother, man. I mean, it, it's just a certain, you just don't throw that word around out here. Loyalty, man, loyalty comes in so many different shapes and sizes, man. You can't really, it's just crazy, man. You gotta watch that word, watch what you say, who, who really are your friend. And I ain't saying, you know, try to shadow anybody or try to keep the truth from anybody. But if you really love you, you say you love somebody, man, how far will you go for somebody, honestly? You gotta ask yourself that question before you say you love or you loyal to somebody. Why Why do you say that, yo, it has to be one foot in and one foot out all here? It's just cause like, it was every day, like, like, it's really hard to escape it, like. Then put in the retrospect, it's like, do I corrupt myself and be with the homies and keep their respect? Or do I stay to myself and grow and try to better myself for a better life? Because honestly, there's two sides to it, okay? And it, it all depends on how the individual looks at it. If I stay with the homies, you know, they got my back and I keep their respect. But if I work on myself and progress inside it, I lose the respect of my homies and get shunned from wherever hood I'm from or wherever I feel like I turn my back on them. But wait, am I really turning my back on them? Or am I just trying to better myself? It's all more of a, I don't know, it's all more of a way I you evaluate. Like, I feel like the only way to not have that foot in there is you got to cut them off, so I am. Right, just cut off. You don't want to do that, like. Yeah, <laughs> but they don't think you turned your back on them. But I mean, honestly, um, I feel as an individual, all, all is fair in love and war. And I feel like in the way kind of in today's society or the way life is now, it's like you kind of got to be for self because the way my pops always told me, man, you can't help somebody if you can't help yourself. So maybe if you work on yourself and say, for instance, like I said, you be your own boss or you be your own your entrepreneur, say if you get a business, I ain't forget about you, bro, because I can employ you in my business. So we been eating together. But some people just see things as being in the hood or staying loyal to the hood is some type of trophy or like you get rewarded for that. No, you're not. Honestly, man, we're in the same place looking at each other. If anything, if we're going to sit here, smoke this joint, drink this alcohol, man, let's collab on how we can make it better get out of this situation instead of just staying in it and dwelling in it. Because ain't nothing going to come out of it but crime. It's not, uh, I don't mind it's a devil's workshop. Pretty much. Everybody wanted the fast way. Like, you know, nobody want to put in the, the time and, and work. Everybody just lazy, you know? So that's why people not going to school. They don't want to, they want to get it in the streets. Cause Drop it out. They don't want to. But we got time. You ain't got nothing but time on your hands. So exactly. you might as well go do it the right way. I mean, then you tally up, man, the time you spend smoking months and drinking alcohol, hey, man, that's a car. <laughs> Man, hey, you done put a whole payment on a 2017 car, all the $20 and 10s add up. And then not only that, man, like, it's sad because, I mean, I'm proud to be who I am as a black man and in this day and who I am. I never changed for nobody. I'm talking about I've been peer pressure. I have been called out for being to myself or being smart or whatever. But pretty much this generation... Like my brother said, going back to what he said, we don't want to work for nothing. That's why it's so easy for everybody to quit, because you ain't paid for nothing. I'm telling you, if you don't work, if you don't spend 28 minutes on the treadmill and all you got is two minutes left to make 30, you gonna quit or you gonna push through? It's the thing, it's just the work you put in. This We just a microwave generation. You pop that thing again, you pop it out. Nobody want to cook, marinate it, wait for it, nothing. You know, man, just people out here, man, it just taught, this world has taught us just to lose faith and determination and just be yourself. And I, I don't know, honestly, all I can say is the best way to get past is honestly to be yourself. Just kind of evaluate how your life is going to be if you make these decisions. That's all. Just think. And now, like, I feel like, like, trouble can find you. Like, like, in this world now, like, you don't even have to be in it or around it. It can find you. Seriously, man. And um, I'm sorry. I mean, I know it's kind of going off topic in the streets, man. And as far as as far as it goes for these women, man, like, and you being a, a black man, first of all, you know, every woman ain't a bitch, ain't a hoe, man. You got a lot of queens out here that's trying to make it, and all they need. You got more women out here that's pushing more than the men because we didn't, we don't have a father in the home. We don't have a strong. And Lord God, that we have. Uh, 
role model in the house, but pretty much going to these women, man, hey, if you can't, if you're going through something or you feel like you're at a stopping point, man, there's some beautiful woman out here that just pretty much willing to be your partner. Y'all can grow together. Y'all can make an empire together. And I'm sorry to say, like I said, I discriminate, man. Your choice is your choice. That's your poison. But man, stop shunning these black women, bro. Man, sisters are the most beautiful thing. We're, man, you are not the minority. This is your shit, <laughs> pretty much. Like, man, as B.O.B. said, man, you can just pretty much find whatever you're looking for in a black woman, man. You ain't got to go no white woman, no Asian woman, nothing, man. Yo, that is what a strong suit holds. They hold the barrier. Stop trying to shun these women just because they're a little loud. They got some mouths. Okay. It ain't, it ain't pretty much that. You just don't want to accept the challenge. That's all it is. You just shun the way of challenge. But you will go out here and quick to go find a white woman. In every situation or you step into it, there's going to be a challenge. And then you just like, decide what you deal with. Back to like the violence and stuff. Like, like every day I think, like, I'm like, I wonder how I'm going to go out with like my friends. Like I lost three friends. Like, and like it wasn't no chance, no second chance. Like they, 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 that was it. I done seen people get shot, they, they live, but these, like, that was it for them. And a lot of people, a lot of the young brothers who we friends with, man, they deserve it, man. And, and, it was just, all, and then, man. honestly, just think about it. I mean, some, some things you can't change, but honestly, man, for the people out there, before you make that decision, a split second, that's all it takes for you to think just to stay home or put that gun away. That's yeah, all like, it takes. Yeah, it's like, it's consequences for everything, like, with the, the Jamie and Jamorian situation, like, I just feel like, because I know that's probably not the first time you know, I've played with that. I just feel like it's consequences for everything you do, so. Mm, mm, it's just, I mean, just going, going to say, man, all I just hope in this world today that things change Brothers change, us as a black people change, and we just help each other grow and just support one another because I'm just sick of the violence and the envy that goes on. Why accept failure when sex is free? Pretty much, like, why are we still in this hole? Man, we done, we done been through it. We done bumped our heads countless, countless times. Like, when are we gonna get it, pretty much, as a people? When are we gonna get it? You ain't seen the example. You ain't gotta go through something to experience it. Man, look, I don't watch this person mess up. You don't see him touch the fence and get electrocuted. Why would you have to go touch it? You know not to. Just, man, learn from your mistakes, man. Because honestly, if you're not learning learn from it, you just, you're the same. You're doing the same thing, expecting different results. That's insanity. That's the definition some of y'all don't know. So pretty much, man, get it together. Like, I ain't trying to, you know, and um, to all y'all with the excuses, man, it's hard out here. We know. It's hard for everybody. Yeah. It ain't just you. So stop making it, man, listen. I'm just keep, keep it raw with you. You want to be a victim your whole life and get handouts, go ahead. You're going to stay in the same bubble. Nobody else can help you until you help yourself. Point blank, period. And whether you need some support, you're your own support for right now. If you ain't got nobody else. Once you support yourself, you're going to have somebody. Just, just keep pushing. That's all I ask. I'm, hey, I ain't made it yet either. And I don't say, I ain't gonna say, oh yeah, I wish I was rich, no. Or I wish I was wealthy, no. When I become wealthy, you manifest stuff into existence. So I'm talking about what if, no, when it's gonna happen. That's how it starts. It starts all in the mind, that's it. So man, I mean, you know, I appreciate y'all time. Like again, I'm Avion Jones, this is my brother. And um, man, y'all have a blessed day, man. Peace and blessings to everybody. And I hope these words helped y'all, you know, get through y'all day or struggle in life. Appreciate it. Peace.